Nice lighting in here today. I'm liking this t-shirt. Let's do it. Let's film a video. Cause I'm cool. I'm not cool. I don't think I am cool. Maybe I am. Hmm. Hello everybody and I hope you're having a good day wherever you are in the world. I'm really sorry for the lack of upload or for the lack of main channel videos, sit down videos. Recently I have had hospital appointments from hell, I do apologise. I have been batch filming so I should be able to get a consistent upload schedule. Plus I'm going away soon so makes all the more fun. <laughs> so today is a very different video. My friend, hello Natasha, um, has now set up like a sort of business and she wanted me to test some of her products. Now these are my favourite type of products. Um, this is Bath and Body Magic. Um, she has set up a business, I'll leave a link in the description so you can go check her out on her Facebook page. But she has basically created soaps bath bombs, body lotions, pretty sure there might be lip balms coming out as well. I don't know. Talk about in this video is what I like, maybe what I don't like, just give you an insight of what she's created. I'm also possibly going to be doing some demos. I can't promise anything, but I will try my best to film like the bath bombs and stuff like that. So Natasha has released this. It is, let me try and focus it. There you go. It's a lip balm tint, but she had told me that there is actually a body lotion, I believe, in here. Ooh. That is like, do you know when you pick a cherry off a tree? Or like a cherry on a cupcake and you bite into it? This is what it smells like. So this is the cherry body lotion, and I think it smells amazing. I want to try a bit of it. I think it's body lotion. I could be using this wrong. <laughs> Sorry, Natasha. That actually goes in really well. It's kind of like um, body lotion oil, I guess. Kind of got like a little sheen to it. Yeah, can you see it? It's actually really nice. And when you put it on the skin, some people are quite scared of cherry. My my mum's not a huge fan of cherry. And in this family, we quite like eating cherry because we've got a cherry tree. But rubbing this in, it's not that strong, which is really nice. Because I thought at first, oh cherry, is that going to be like really overpowering? Because I've had some creams in the path and body lotions. As soon as you whack it on, you want to wash it off. It's so bad. But this is lovely. It's like a really nice calm cherry smell. It smells really nice. I like that one. Thank you, Natasha. So as I was mentioning earlier, she has released her own soaps now. I didn't notice this design, she had told me one's an exfoliate and one's just a normal general soap that you can use. And this one I believe is not the exfoliant, I don't know, I can't tell the difference between the two. But this, oh, that's like a really nice fresh smell. I don't actually know, it reminds me of a perfume I've got. But that actually smells really nice. I, Look at that design. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I want to work with you. Sod going to Lush. That smells really nice. I want to use that as a hand cream and I'm not sure, ooh, but a sparkle drop then. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's kind of like got a, almost like a pattern in the, in the soap. Do you mind my nails, they're getting a bit chipped. <laughs> so yeah, I'm definitely going to use that. Probably as hand soap because I'm not really a fan of putting soap, like hard soap on my body, but hopefully hand soap should do it. Oh my God, this is amazing. Right, I'm, I'm thinking this is the exfoliant soap that I'm holding here. I could be wrong. Natasha will probably comment down below. No, that's the other one you were holding. Anyway, this is what I believe is the exfoliant soap. It is beautiful. Let me try and not get oat. Um, they kind of remind me of oats. I think they are oats on top. Ooh. Now that, in a way, it smells good, but I don't know what it reminds me of. They're very plain scents, but I quite like it because you don't want hand soaps or like body soaps to be too overpowering. Mmm, that is really nice. 
me just sniffing it and I'll stuff it up my nose in a minute. <laughs> right, next we are moving on to bath bombs. I have four of these, that's eight, money, not four. That is four. There we go. I'm just gonna pick a random one because I don't know which is which. Oh my god, it's so pretty. So this is one of the bath bombs. Look at that. That is so cute. Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> My psychologist wears a perfume and I think this is what it smells like. Oh, I've never smelt Coco Chanel, but this kind of smells like it, I think. Oh my god, that smells amazing. And they're so dinky, look at how cute they are. Why am I holding it? Yeah, it's pretty much the size of my ear. <laughs> oh my god, that smells amazing. And I've gotten something all over me. Hold on. There we go. Nah, that ain't gonna work. Good thing we invented hoovers. Oh my god, that smells amazing. I cannot wait to use this. This smells like a fresh kind of like pot of flowers. Like, you know, when you pick all the different flowers from like a field or like your garden, and you whack it in a vase and you stick it on the side. And if it's heat, if the heating's on, you can smell it really good. Or like you walk into the room and you smell it. This is kind of what it reminds me of. So this one is a really nice, simple blue colour and it's got kind of like a bit of shimmer. Let's pop my face out. There we go. This is really cute and I like that they're playing as well because sometimes bath bombs can be quite overpowering when we get like glitter or flowers. So this is really nice. That smells like a Yankee candle. It does, it does. It smells like a Yankee candle. I have Yankee candles, I need to smell which one it is. Oh my god, what is that smell? I think it's one of the Christmas ones that released last year in the calendar. I bought the calendar after the sale because you know it's cheaper. I think it's the, the black one that they released. It smells like that. Although I've used that one so I'm not entirely sure if I'm telling the truth or not. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love it. I love it and I, even the bath bombs are so compact and so small, sometimes the smaller ones do a better job in the bath than the bigger ones. Because when I was up in London yesterday for another hospital appointment, get me, and when I was in Lush, their new bath bombs, their jelly bombs had so much like they were in the basins the sinks and that and as soon as i dropped it in it took about like 20 minutes for it to fully dissolve although let me just say this they didn't have a full bathtub but seriously i think these would do a better job so if you like wanted just a quick dip in wash out kind of thing this would be really perfect for it and i'm all about the glitter right now right this is the smallest one of all of them i'm pretty sure let me measure it i'm pretty sure this is the smallest out of all of them now this has got to be my favourite colour so far. Look at that baby pink. Can you tell the difference? My pillow. Hello. That's cool. I think they all have similar scents. Like they're very sort of pale and neutral, which is quite nice. This one's got a tiny bit of shimmer in it, I think. Or it's just mixed in with the other lot. I love them, they're so cute, and I love this one because it's so dinky and pink, like my lips. But the moment they're not pink, they're more like purple, and they've showed up red for some reason. Mm. It's a really fresh smell, and I really like fresh smells because I remember smelling some bath bombs a couple of weeks ago, and I remember smelling a peppermint one, and it just overpowered me. I was like, ugh, sickly. It's really horrible, and it's really hard to get the judgments right because I have weird allergies, don't get me wrong, I have weird allergies slash intolerances, I have allergies to oranges, so I kind of like the pale dampened down smells of like citrus and like grape and lemon and stuff like that, but it's weird, it's all weird. <laughs> so this is the last bar bomb and last product I'm going to be showing you and oh my god, doesn't this remind you, I don't know if you ever had this when you were kids, but moon sand, or like quick what do they call it now creative sand or something i don't know that is a very nice smell mm, what is that 
That is like one of the lush bath bombs scents. Really nice, really chilled as well. And I really like that it's got, it has, I knew it had it. So basically, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's got purple and then pink. And I'm pretty sure it's got purple underneath as well. Oh, it smells so good. I'm like squeezing it and then I'm saying to myself, don't squeeze it, it will go everywhere. <laughs> and you will spend the rest of your life mucking up your carpet. <laughs> Not the best idea I really wanna do on my, uh, on my Wednesday morning. <laughs> I'm losing count of the days here. So I hope you all enjoyed that review and I hope this helped everyone if you want to buy anything from Natasha to sort of get that sort of idea of what she's actually selling. I think my favourite product out of all of them has to be this, it's just amazing. I think as well, I normally am a bit of a bath bomb fanatic, I've got to be honest with you, but because it's so light and it's so, it's just so natural, it's just, it just creates that nice sheen and before you know it once you rub it in it kind of disappears and the scent i think once you add more and more to your like skin or your hands or your shoulders once you add more and more it probably will get more sort of invigorating and more sort of like louder i guess you would call it but it still says quite damp and, and quite a sort of gentle has nice aroma to it and it's quite oily as well so I think it would be very good for your skin if you get out of the bath or just before you get in like the shower or something just be really nice to sort of touch up on the skin I should have had this last night <laughs> I struggled to sleep counting the sleeps oh that's fun so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up comment down below what you would like to see next or just tell me what you thought of the review It'd be a massive help to me and Natasha to sort of gather some ideas on what we can do in the future I can let her know I'm rambling on and on and on I will see you guys in the next video bye guys